fifth day grade six learners and welcome to our happy mathematics class please click the subscribe button and like this video thank you good day grade six i am sir Ronnie v rivera and this time we will be learning how to add and subtract simple fractions and mix numbers without or with regrouping but before we start with our main lesson, let us first try to differentiate similar and dissimilar fraction. So if we say similar fractions, these are fractions with the same denominator, like 2 over 7 and 4 over 7. They are similar because they have the same denominator which is 7. Another example of similar fractions are 5 over 12 and 3 over 12. They are said to be similar because they have the same denominator which is 12. So kung pareho ang denominator ng dalawa o higit pang fractions, they are said to be similar. Now, ano naman yung dissimilar fractions? These are fractions with different denominator like 7 over 13 and 5 over 9. So kitang kita dito, Yung 7 over 13 at 5 over 9, magkaiba ng denominator. That's why they are dissimilar. O 13 at saka 9 magkaiba. Kaya dissimilar sila. Another example is 11 over 21 and 6 over 10. So 21 and 10 are different denominators. That why, that's why they are called dissimilar fractions. So now, let us start with the first part of our lesson, which is addition and subtraction of similar fractions so when we add or subtract similar fractions these are the steps first you simply add or subtract the numerators and then copy the common denominator then after that simplify the resulting fraction if necessary if it is not yet on its simplest form need nothing mag simplify and then third, when the sum or difference is an improper fraction, change it to mix number. Kapag mas mataas yung numerator kaysa sa denominator, kailangan natin mag-change sa mix number. So let us have an example. First, we have 2 over 7 plus 4 over 7. So susundin natin isa-isa yung steps. First, simply add or subtract the numerators. So, yung numerators ay 2 at saka 4. So, 2 plus 4 is 6. And then, copy the common denominator which is 7. So, 6 over 7, si simplify pa ba natin? Hindi na. Kasi yung 6 over 7 ay nasa simplest form na. Therefore, that is our final answer. Okay, next example, the same rule, the same step, the same step sa, sub sa subtraction naman. So, we have 5 over 9 minus 3 over 9. So, subtract the numerator, 5 minus 3 is 2, and then, copy the denominator, 9. Do we need to simplify that one? Hindi na. Kasi wala nang common factor ang 2 at saka 9 except 1. So, 2 over 9 is our final answer. Next example, we have 3 over 15 plus 2 over 15. Add the numerator, 3 plus 2 is equal to 5 over the common denominator is 15. So, tignan natin. Yung 5 over 15 ay mayroon pang common factor. Kaya hindi pa yan yung ating final answer. We still need to reduce it to lowest term. How are we going to do that one? Natapos niya na yung grade 5 kayo, at grade 4 yan. So maybe review na lang ito. So we have 5 over 15. Mag-iisip tayo ng pwedeng pang divide sa 5 at saka 15. And that is what? Okay, that is 5. Yung walang remainder. Pwedeng i-divide sa kanila na walang remainder. That is 5. Di-divide natin sa 
both numerator and denominator. So, 5 divided by 5 is equal to 1. And 15 divided by 5 is equal to 3. Meron pa bang pwedeng pang divide sa 1 at saka 3? Wala na. So, our final answer is 1 third or 1 over 3. Next, sa subtraction naman tayo. Mag-try ulit. We have 18 over 15 minus 6 over 15. So, kagaya ng dating ginagawa, subtract the numerator. 18 minus 6 is equal to 12. And then, copy the denominator. 15. So, kung titignan natin, yung 12 at saka 15, meron pa silang tinatawag na common factor. Pwedeng pang divide sa kanilang dalawa na walang remainder. Kaya, we need to simplify or simplify our answer. So, ano ang pwedeng pang divide sa 12 at saka 15? I-divide natin sila ng 3. Okay? Sa taas at sa kababa. 12 divided by 3 is equal to 4. And 15 divided by 3 is equal to 5. So, yung 4 over 5 or 4 feet is our final answer. Meron pa bang pwedeng pang divide sa dalawa? Common factor maliban sa 1? Wala na. So, that is our final answer. 4 over 5 or 4 feet. Another example, we have 4 feet plus 3 feet. So, ganun pa rin. Dahil sila ay similar, we will add the numerator. 4 plus 3 is equal to 7, and then copy the denominator, 5. So, kung titignan natin, simplify na siya, kasi wala nang pwedeng pang divide sa 7 at sa 5. Tama? But, tignan natin yung number 3, dito sa ating procedure kanina. When the sum or difference is an improper fraction, change it to mix number. So, ang improper fraction ay kagaya nito. Pag mas malaki yung nasa taas kaysa nasa baba. Mas malaki si numerator kaysa kay denominator, improper po siya. Ang gagawin natin kapag ganyan ay i-change natin siya sa mixed number. Paano? Ganito. 7 divided by 5 is equal to 1. Ilan yung remainder pag dinibide mo yung 7 sa 5? Meron ka ang 2 na remainder. Siya yung magiging numerator mo. At kukopyahin mo pa rin yung 5 na denominator. Ulitin natin. Saan nakuha si 1? Siya yung quotient. Siya yung sagot. 7 divided by 5 is equal to 1. Siya yung magiging whole number. And then yung remainder, siya yung magiging numerator. 2 ang remainder. And then kukopyahin mo pa rin yung denominator na 5. Hindi siya magbabago. So ang final answer natin is 1 and 2, 5th. Now, let us proceed to addition and subtraction of the similar fractions. Okay. So, when we add or subtract the similar fractions, meron lang tayong isang step na idadagdag sa unahan. And that is to change them to similar fractions. Kapag similar na siya, uulitin na lang natin yung ginawa natin kanina. Example. 2 third plus 1 fourth. Magkaiba ng denominator, dissimilar fractions. Anong kailangan natin? Kailangan natin si LCD. So, paano natin mahanap si LCD? Ililista natin yung multiples ng denominators. 3 and 4. So, sa 3, ito siya. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. Sa 4 naman is 4, 8, 12, 16, and 20. Okay? Hanggang sa mahanap natin yung list kaman pinakamababa na pareho sa kanila. And that is 12. Nakared na siya kaagad. Nilagyan ko na ng sign. So that is 12. Yun ang ating magiging bagong denominator ngayon. Para pareho sila. So first, ganitong gagawin. One solution. 12 divided by 3 is equal to 4. 4 times 2 is equal to 8. 12 divided by 4 is equal to 3. 3 times 1 is equal to 3. 
So, kung makikita ninyo, naging, ano na siya? Similar fractions. Pareho na ng denominator. So, pwede na natin i-add, kagaya ng ginagawa natin kanina, sa umpisa, dun sa similar. Kasi similar na siya. Pareho na ng denominator. So, we have 8 plus 3 is equal to 11 over the common denominator, 12. So, makikita ninyo, 11 over 12, may common factor pa ba? Wala na. So, our final answer is 11 over 12. O kayo, kung may pwede pang pang-divide sa 11 at 12, meron pa ba? I think, wala na. So, yan na yung ating final answer. Okay, so let us have the same example na patayo naman yung paraan. Kasi yung iba, mas gusto ng patayo. Yung iba, mas gusto ng pahiga. So, subukan natin ng ganito. ba? Patayo. Depende sa gusto nyo. Gusto nyo yung pahiga kanina, okay lang. Gusto nyo ng patayo, okay lang din. So, ganun din gagawin. Ililista yung multiples ng dalawa. Hahanapin yung pareho. That is 12. So, ganun din. 12 divided by 3 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. Parehas lang. 12 divided by 4 is equal to 3. 3 times 1 is equal to 3. And then, i-add natin sila. 8 plus 3 is equal to 11 over the common denominator which is 12. So, kung ano yung mas gusto mo, patayo o pahiga, okay lang. Walang problema, basta tama ang sagot. Alright. So, grade 6, before we continue, gusto ko lang pong linawin na itong method o paraan na itinuturo ko ay isang paraan lamang. There are other methods on how to solve for this one. Pwede kayong mag-search mag -search sa YouTube. Pwede magpaturo sa kuya, nanay, or tatay kung may alam sila. Hindi ko kasi maituturo sa inyo lahat ng paraan kasi mauubos yung oras natin. Okay po? Maraming paraan. Isang paraan lang ito. Kung mas madali yung ituturo nila sa inyo, pwede yun ang sundan ninyo. Maraming paraan ng pag-solve sa mathematics. Okay, so we have another example, 5 over 6 minus 3 over 8. Again, let us try to look for the LCD. So these are the multiples of 6 and 8. And upon listing the multiples of both 6 and 8, makikita natin na ang kaman sa kanila ay 24. So yun ang ating gagawin bagong numerator, denominator. And then, look. 24 divided by 6 is equal to 4. 4 times 5 is equal to 20. 24 divided by 8 is equal to 3. 3 times 3 is equal to 9. So, since parehas na sila ng denominator, we can simply subtract them. 20 minus 9 is equal to 11 over ang common denominator ay 24. May pwede pa bang pang divide sa 11 at 24? I think wala na. Pero isipin nyo pa rin kung meron pa. Maliban sa 1 ah. 2 pataas. May pwedeng pang divide. Wala na. So that is our final answer. 11 over 24. So kagaya ng nauna kanina, susubukan din natin siyang gawin ng patayo. Or vertical. So ganun din. Ililista natin yung multiples para makuha si LCD. Tapos ang LCD natin ay 24. So, 24 divided by 6 is 4. 4 times 5 is equal to 20. Next, 24 divided by 8 is equal to 3. And 3 times 3 is equal to 9. So, parehas na tayo ng denominator na 24. So, 20 minus 9 is equal to 11 over the common denominator, 24. Okay? So, yun na yung ating final answer. For our next video, I will discuss addition and subtraction of similar mixed number and addition and subtraction of the similar mixed number, both with or without regrouping. So, sa ngayon, hanggang dito muna tayo. Have a nice day everyone!